The Savannah Impact Program was really a groundbreaking approach to policing by moving from what was known as a, a zone defense to more of a man-to-man -man defense. Intensive probation and parole kind of monitoring, individuals who had gotten in trouble who needed a little bit more supervision to make sure they stayed on the correct and uh, right and narrow path. Uh, the other one had to do with juvenile outreach. And there was a increase in crime related to juveniles in the community and SIP was put together. One of the main components of SIP was to provide more outreach opportunities for juveniles in our community. And then an educational and an employment component to assist people in the area of you know, getting their education, really being involved in the educational component, but also finding gainful employment. It gave uh, the community a sense of, uh, well, we were making accountability. Uh, police officers are out there being a resource other than just arrest source. Uh, we, when guys were re-entry into the society, we gave them a chance to build a better life as far as being productive, another productive citizen. This was an opportunity to be able to create opportunities for those that were just as involved to be able to be successful. And how do you do that? You do that by addressing their needs where they are. Um, it was a unique interaction between uh, police and those that have been just as involved. Um, it was a one-stop shop. You had the police department, you had um, you had the probation department, you had corrections um, all in one spot. You also uh, provided mental health services and substance abuse services. Um, and you were able to build relationships to help um, these young men and women to get to where they needed to be. You can send a guy to jail, he can come back, or a few months of jail come back and they're supposed to get rehabilitated. But when they come back, uh, the officer turns into a, a resource how, to find a solution to the problem. Why is this person committing crimes? Why are they committing crimes over and over again? And that's where the counselors come in and sit down with them and find out the root of the problem. And at that point, uh, that person becomes productive again and we turn their life around and they can be a productive citizen in society. When people have done their time, when people have paid their debt, then we as a, as a community need to be responsive enough to say, we want to help you now be successful. We have a choice in this that you can either be successful or you can go back into criminality. If a person goes back into criminality, we all lose. If that person becomes successful and self-sufficient, we all win. To assist people in the area of you know, getting their education, really being involved in the educational component, but also finding gainful employment. So it's a program that proved to be very beneficial over the years for the city of Savannah, the Savannah Police Department, and something that our current council has shown and given a strong commitment to bringing back. We were able to give literally millions of dollars um, of city work to Savannah Impact. So we were able to make sure that these individuals were able to find jobs. We found that when they were working, they didn't have time to commit crime. And so they were able to learn a skill, they were able to do some work, they were able to pay their bills, they were able to meet their obligations, they were able to become better dads and moms, they were able to contribute uh, to our community and we found they did better. When someone is in a, a, a society that's lack of social norms, uh, they don't have the structure uh, to get a job or they, they're faced with uh, uh, which the social strain theory where they want things in life but they don't have the opportunities as far as education and programs, so they want to face a, a, a life of crime. But at that point, the officers are creating opportunities and creating resources with the collaborative partners. We're going to have the cognitive behavioral programs. We're going to have the uh, job readiness programs. Those guys, we on top of the intense supervision, we also track them and make sure they're uh, on the right track. And I remember a lady uh, graduated and she said, this is the first time in my adult life that I've been sober for, for X number of days, except when I was in prison. And I mean, and so here she was, she was able to um, get her children back, she was able to work, and she was living um, life now on an approved 12-step process. And I think that is the opportunity that we have. I solely I have a compassion for it. Um, putting someone in jail is not always a good thing. Uh, people have families, they want to be better. And with the police officers out here, we want them to do better. You know, of course, we don't want to just arrest everybody. Everybody deserves a chance, depending on their situation. And what I've learned in that uh, working in the program for the years past, it gives you uh, a sense of uh, 
pride that you're doing something for the community as well as the probationer or the ones re-entering uh, back into society. For more information and a detailed description of the six policy priority areas, visit savannahga.gov budget.